Hey, my name is Elvis Tejada and welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna learn about ISO, also known as fake light or exposure or ISO. If you own a camera yourself, you will see that in the settings, you will have this thing called ISO. ISO is a way to digitally brighten or darken the image. Now that you know that ISO is a way to digitally brighten up your image, it makes you think, okay, I can shoot in the night or I can shoot in the dark and I can just brighten the image up and I'll be okay. Now that may sound right, that may sound good, but there is one slight downfall when brightening up an image with ISO. And that one downfall is noise, this grainy thing that appears on your footage. So the higher your ISO, the more you start to introduce noise. It's not that you can't use ISO and brighten up your image. You just have to be very careful in the way you use it so you don't mess up your quality. You don't mess up your footage. You don't wanna over exaggerate and completely ruin everything you've recorded. Today, we're gonna to learn how to use it and where it should be in certain situations. I had my wife sit in our living room. Thank you, wife, for uh, being my subject, my model for this video. For the key light, I used a Godox and I had it around 10%. And in the background here, I left the light on in the, in the bathroom just because I thought it looked nice. So it created a nice rim light around my wife, which we'll, we'll, we will definitely learn what that is in another video. But today we're just gonna focus on ISO. On the key light, I had it around 10%, not too bright. My ISO was at 100 here at its lowest. So I kept the quality. There's no grain here because in the scene, in the actual room, I used the lighting that I had. So I didn't have to bump up my ISO and ruin my image. I used my light by brightening it so that I don't have to mess around with the ISO. I could just leave it at 100 where it should be. Now we're going to see exactly what it looks like when we brighten the ISO. You see how it gets all like weird, makes no sense at all. And then obviously this is already exaggerating to be honest. So you can see that I bumped it up and I'm coming down now. It's a big difference. Now let's say that you don't have the brightest light. Now you can see that the footage right now is really underexposed. It's, it's way too dark. So what you would do in this situation is if you have no control over your light, bump up your ISO and see now you get exactly what, what you wanted. You bump up your ISO until it looks good. Let's say you had no light at all. It's just a dark image. I kept the rim light obviously in the back, but let's say you had no key lights, just a dark image. What you would do is bump up your ISO, but you can see that you start to introduce noise into the image and the quality starts to downgrade. Turn back my light here, turn my ISO down back to 100, keeping the quality and it's definitely a big difference in the, in the image. Don't be afraid to not use ISO, but what I recommend is if you have a light, use it. Make sure you have a good lighting in your scene first and try to keep your ISO to 100 and then work everything else out to make sure that the footage is, is uh, lit properly. I usually have my ISO at 100 always, unless for some reason I forgot my light or it's not working or whatever the case may be. But usually I have it always at 100 and then I start to bump my light up in the actual scene, not digitally, um, until I get the lighting that I want, until I light up my subject the way I want it to be. That way I can keep my uh, quality and I don't have to introduce any type of noise at all. So I do recommend that you guys, if you don't have a light, purchase one that you can uh, dim and brighten up. That way you guys can keep your uh, ISO at 100 and keep that quality. My lens is a 1.4, so it is a little bit brighter than the regular lenses that you guys might have. So let's say you guys have a uh, 2.8, the image will be darker but it's the same thing. Try to keep your ISO at 100 and then bump your uh, light higher. For example, I had it at 10%, but that's because my 1.4 lens is so bright that I'd only had to have my uh, light at 10%. I didn't have to bump it any higher than that. 
But if I had a 2.8, my light might have been around maybe like 50% or 60%. It might have been brighter just to keep me from bringing my ISO up. But there are some lights that don't aren't as bright as mine. In that case, you would probably put your ISO at 400 or 600, and you'll keep a little bit of the uh, quality. You won't introduce as much noise as you would think. So don't be afraid to do it. Just try to keep it at 100 always. That is my recommendation. I know it's hard, but I know you guys can do it. So let's say you have a, a night scene, you're shooting outside and you don't have any light. Bump up the ISO to 400, to 600, to 800. So you get the brightness that you like. Don't, like I said, do not be afraid. It doesn't matter if you introduce a little bit of noise. Just do what you need to do to get the footage that you want, to get the uh, lighting that you need. I know, I know, especially me, a lot of scenes I've had at night that I did not have any lights. It was just outside and just shooting and then I had to bump my eyes. Oh, I hate it. But I had to do what I had to do because no one was gonna want a really dark um, image that you can't see any details. You can't see anything that's happening. No one wants that. So you're gonna have to bump your ISO in certain situations and that is okay. And it's, it's normal, it's common, you have to. You can't not do it in every scene, you know what I mean? You can't keep it at 100 in every scene unless you, know, you have all the equipment in the world and you can do whatever you want and okay, good, that's good for you. But people like me who don't have all the equipment, sometimes you just have to bump the ISO. But lately I have been keeping it at 100, thank God and it's been going well. Now there's other things like shutter speed and f-stops, which we'll be talking about in the next video. That will help you brighten your image without using your ISO. I'm gonna explain what those are so that you guys can mess around with them so that you guys get the uh, best quality as possible without bumping your ISO. Um, they definitely go together. ISO, shutter speed, and f-stops definitely go together. And I think it's very important that we learn how to use them all to get the best quality possible in our videos. Stay tuned for that. That is coming up next. And that is all for today. Again, my name is Elvis Tejada. Please subscribe, comment down below, follow us on Instagram. That is where we post all of our stuff. That is the social media we use. Um, and I hope you guys like this video. And it doesn't matter what gear you have, create anyways. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching this video.